Welcome back. We just hit session lows once again on stocks. We're down about 574. So let's do a little three stock lunch and take a look at three names that are actually higher today, or at least were at last check. And that includes Snap, up more than 5%, a big gain yesterday. We just talked about that renewed pressure to ban TikTok. Dick Sporting Goods is surging nearly 11% today after their fourth quarter results topped expectations. And Delta Airlines getting an upgrade from Evercore to outperform. Uh, so those are all some big upside movers. To trade them, let's bring in Boris Schlossberg, BK Asset Management Managing Director and a CNBC contributor. Good to see you again, Boris. Let's start with Snap. Hi. Such a volatile stock. Would you be a buyer here? Yeah, so it's the anti-TikTok. That's the big story, of course, right now. But of course, going forward, it's really going to have to be whether the company can grow into the kind of density it needs to have in order to attract advertisers. It's actually doing quite well uh, as far as the last couple of quarters of uh, growth goes. But if it can reach that $450 million user base by the end of 2023, that's almost half a billion dollars. That's enough density, I think, to attract advertisers. And then the other thing is, 50% of its customer base is 25 or under. If they can attract a little bit more gray beards like me, that'll be very, very positive for them. So it's a matter of execution. All right, let's move on to uh, let's move on to Dick Sporting's good Sporting Goods. Uh, nice numbers uh, on that on that company, and that one appeals to young people. My son is there a lot buying Nikes. And I go there too. Exactly. So gray beards to uh, <laughs> to uh, stubbly guys. To you. I, I, I think you really hit it on the head, here, Tyler. I think post COVID, we all want to be outside. We all want to be active. Dix is really participating in that very well. As long as the economy holds well, as long as consumer incomes continue to uh, to grow, I think it's a very very positive trend. Stock is only ten times earnings. It's pretty much four times bigger than Academy Sports' its next nearest competitor. So I think it really dominates the space. I, I like it long term. Absolutely. Well, there you go. Two votes right. of confidence. Does he stick with it for Delta? Boris, what do you think about Delta oh, Airlines? My favorite airline. I mean, it's, it's literally the best airline as far as consumer uh, ratings go and as far as being on time. It really executes best. I mean, the thing about Delta, think about this. Every other airline experience is usually very negative. Delta experience is really pretty positive. They've... Um, I think uh, projected about $2 billion worth of um, cash free cash flow in 2023. I think they're going to beat the numbers. Travel continues to be super hot. Again, as long as the economy stays relatively strong, we are definitely want to be traveling. Delta is a huge beneficiary of that. Plus, JetBlue Spirit now getting kiboshed and uh, uh, Southwest having problems. It really leaves the market very wide open to them. I love the stock. Is there any stock you don't like? Boy, you can't be positive on three stocks with a Dow down 600 points today. That's exactly the point. You want to be buying the best stocks in a down market because when the things bounce, they're going to be the leaders to the upside. You know, got to be long and strong, Kelly. That's the way to go. There we go. Long and strong. Boris Schlossberg, we appreciate it.